What's going on guys, it's your boy CMB, back in the building, back with another video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now guys, let's get into this one really quickly. Uh, I'm out here at the track getting ready to get my run on. But I did get up early this morning so I could watch the big fight uh, between Naoya Inoue and uh, Nonito Denier. Uh, I gotta tell you guys, the fight didn't disappoint. Uh, Inoue stops Nonito Denier in the second round. Uh, it was kind of shocking to me because I, I thought I thought uh, Nonito Denier would last a little bit longer just seeing how rejuvenated he looked in his last few fights and the fact that the uh, first fight uh, pretty much went the distance and he uh, he wound up shattering Inoue's orbital bone in that fight and I think I think he broke his nose if I'm not mistaken but that was a damn good fight uh, so I thought this fight would you know pretty much you know go in that type of fashion but it didn't uh, he was stopped in the second round uh, he actually got dropped in the first round too guys uh, both of the guys came out uh, very poised in their approach uh, anyway looked sharp guys he looked sharp in the first round uh, he was flicking the jab he was up on his toes a little bit uh, great counter punching ability uh, he did get caught uh, with a good left hook uh, from Nonito Denier in the first round I think he said that woke him up and uh, he, he dropped Nonito like, I think it was like six seconds before the round ended uh, with a right hand to the face. And uh, I think he was saved by the bell because uh, the bell rang right after that. Now the second round, um, anyway, just pretty much unleashed on Nonito Denier. Uh, he dropped him. Well, no, he staggered him. I think it was a left hand that staggered him. And then he wind up uh, unleashing on him. Uh, driving him back to the ropes and then he, he, he stopped him I think it was with a left hand if I'm not mistaken and uh, that was all she wrote uh, anyway now is a three belt champion guys uh, there's talks of him uh, being moved up on the pound for pound list I can see why uh, he's, he's, he's a skilled fighter not only is he skilled he has a lot of power uh, I think the sky's the limit for this guy I think he's been you know he's I, I think he's been kind of overlooked and then the fact that this fight was on a Tuesday morning you know it was over in Japan so it had to be uh, Tuesday morning here in the US but uh, it was a very entertaining fight I'm glad I got up and actually watched it so now he has three belts I think Paul Butler is the uh, WBO champion at Bantamweight so we're gonna see if he's gonna go ahead and go for undisputed I think he should before moving up to the next weight class but uh, guys uh, anyway successful uh, defeating Nonito Denier and, and, and like I said I got to be honest I, I thought in my opinion I thought Nonito Denier would take this fight but uh, I, I was absolutely wrong on that one guys but that's all I got to say about that guys I got to get out here and do this run you guys tell me what you think about Naoya anyway uh, what's next for him uh, do you think he should be moved up on the pound for pound list let me know in the comment section it's the CMB I'll talk to you guys in the next one and I'm out peace